things to go to maths class. This was the first lesson of a new unit focused on transformations and congruence. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at reflections. So reflections are exactly as they sound. You'll always need a mirror line and images are reflected at the right angle to the mirror line and equal distances away. I'm going to zoom in on my image just to the right of the screen. Here you'll see we have a mirror line. Now that mirror acts as a mirror. It reflects that orange shape on the left and we're going to have a perfect reflection on the right. Remembering that it needs to be at 90 degrees to the mirror line and equal distance from the mirror. You can think of it in real life, if you stare at a mirror, you are, it appears that you are an equal distance away from the mirror. As soon as you take a couple of steps back in the mirror reflection, you appear that you are also taking a few steps back. So I'm going to give this a go just by hand drawing. So we might start with the point B here. Now I look at this and I go, it's one, two, three units away from the mirror line, so it must be three units away from the mirror line. So we'll go one, two, three, and I'm just going to put a dot. Sometimes it's easier to kind of put the corners in there first, and I'm going to call that, let's just call that B dash to say that it is B. Now if we look at A, it's six units away from the mirror line or another three in that same direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll make that A dash. Same deal down the bottom. The C is four units away. One, two, three, four. Make that C dash and then D dash. And as I draw this in create a sort of dot to dot, zoom back out, and in theory they are reflective of one another and they are matching. Now you can obviously see that because it is a mirror, it's not exactly the same, you know, it doesn't appear to be the same shape, but it has been, uh, I guess, reflected, mirrored. Now in saying that, we're also looking at lines of symmetry, so you may have seen or heard of symmetry before. Lines of symmetry are lines that can split an image into two equal parts. So I've got just three images here. You can do it for you know, anything. If we have a look at the rectangle in the top left, there's a few ways where we can split this in half without and having mirror images. So I can put a mirror line sort of down the middle and the bit on the left matches the bit on the right. An alternative with a rectangle is we can put one through the middle like so. Again, top matches the bottom. You might think that we can have a diagonal, something like that. Whereas if you sort of turn your head to the side, or sort of to the side, you can see that they're not actually a mirror image of one another. If it was a mirror image, you would sort of expect it to look something like that, that side. You look like that side, but we don't have that. So for the rectangle, we have two, draw it here, two lines of symmetry. One, so we have two lines. With the hexagon, and there are a few in the hexagon, we can have one that runs straight down the middle, one that runs that way, one that runs that way. We can even, with a hexagon, have one that runs down through there. Now I know my actual hexagon drawing skills aren't exactly perfect, but if it was a regular hexagon, you would be able to see that they are all mirror lines. Three mirror lines like that. And three mirror lines. So in total, we have six for the hexagon. And then finally, with a circle, we have one there, 
got one there, we got one there, we got one there, one there, one there, and you might start getting the idea. Oh, that last one wasn't very good. You actually have an infinite number. Let's just have more than that. And this one. You're likely to come up against a few tougher type of questions where maybe the mirror line is on an angle, but ultimately it doesn't make a difference provided you always reflect your images at right angles to the mirror line. That's it from today. Um, have fun.